y'all. Thanks for joining me today. I have a Dollar Tree haul that I want to share with you from Seguin, Texas back uh, probably about a month ago when I went to visit my son. So sorry it's taken so long to get this up. It's just so many things going on. But I sat down and decided I'm going to get this thing taken care of for y'all. So some of this stuff is, like I said, it's a little bit older. But I still want to share these things with you. So the first thing that I have is these flowers. They actually had ones that, that I don't have here local. So that's the reason why I grabbed these and wanted to share them with you. Um, this first one is the Forget-Me-Not. And those are some uh, really pretty flowers. And it, it is a grow kit. It says it includes the pot, the seeds, the growing medium, and the instructions. So I'm going to check this out and see if it's too late to go ahead and plant it and, you know, put it outside and see what it does. If it, if it sprouts, great. If it doesn't, you know, not, not really a big deal. So the next one is the cone flower. And that one is really pretty, the pink. And then the last one that they had is the daisy. And um, of course it's in the yellow container. I don't know why it's so bent up like that, but I, I actually have flower, you've probably seen all the different flower pots that I have, so that's, that's not a real issue. Then the next thing I wanna show you, yeah, look, this is the carrots. <laughs> so this was the, the it, they're by Crafter Square, the two-pack decor. Yeah, these were the ones that, that kind of look like the bristly tool that, that you get to wire, wire brush. That's what I was looking for. All right. So this is the Premier Just Active, and I don't know how to say that bottom name, but this is that white yarn that I wanted, that I'm going to do my, the beads with the tassels on the end. This was the color that I've been looking for. I do have other colors that I could play around with, but this was the main color that I was wanting. And then this one is, I guess, kind of like an off-white or maybe even a cream color. They don't specifically say, oh, it's linen. I'm sorry, looky there. There's the color right there. L trying to get the camera to focus for you. So yeah, there's that's linen colored. So there it is. And then this one, yeah, sure enough, there's white. So if you want to know what the color is, look for the skew, and it should be right above it. So those are the two that I that I got as far as the yarn is concerned and then I found this plastic balloon pump it wasn't the one that I was specifically looking for but it, it is a balloon pump so I went ahead and I grabbed it and I saw someone else on a haul and she had one that was a little different than this and she said that she actually uses it to pump up her bicycle tires so I'm, I'm curious. I want to know if this is actually going to work. And I am going to try it eventually. Um, but either way, if it works, I'll let you know. If it doesn't work, I'll still let you know. Then the next thing that I got, I think there's a couple. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, so this here is, I bought this for somebody or some buddies specifically to put away for, you know, possible future grandbaby. They decided to do gender neutral. That's what it was. So that way, if it's a boy or a girl, either way, the clothes are, it, it's, it's not going to matter. The clothes, there's, they can still use them. So they, it can't be specific boy or girl. It has to be something for either or. So anyways, I found this really cute baby onesie. It, is, it would be kind of big for a newborn. Um, yeah, it says three to six months, but still, 
$1.25 for this cute little pink onesie. I, I couldn't pass that up. Yeah, that, that went in my cart. <laughs> and then the other one is this really sweet looking navy blue. It says baby onesie, but it is a shirt. I'm trying to look at the size. This one says 12 months, so it's kind of big as well. But a little boy or a little girl could wear this. Cute little navy blue onesie. So, I mean, shirt, but it says baby onesie. And then this bandana. Oh, my goodness. It's a bandana bib. And look, it has the blue and the yellow in it. But, of course, it has the other colors as well. So, but, yeah, it says newborn, zero months, baby bandana, and it's by Angel of Mine. So, I thought that was really cute. And then, how it opens and closes is it has this cool little Velcro. And then, also, I like that it's the like a terry cloth on the other side. So, even if they didn't want to use this side, they probably, maybe... No, it won't work like that. It's just one-sided. But you can still use this other side that's clean to, you know, wipe the baby's face and fingers and things like that. So it's kind of like, you know, the washcloth material. So I thought that was really cute, $1.25. So that is for, you know, future, future when they decide to, you know, Make their family bigger. Mimi's got it, you know, getting getting the collection ready. <laughs> these are some of those. These are tote bags, and I've been seeing these quite a bit. Um, I have one, two, I have three here. But I really like these. You can turn these into not only a tote that it's, naturally presented as you could take the straps off you could make it a pillow um you could make it a gift bag put your goodies inside and gift it as is that way you know instead of throwing away paper or cardboard or whatever this is a gift all by itself you know plus all the goodies inside so i i picked out ones of course that I liked but I was trying to think as in people that are in my life that I would be gifting these things to that they would enjoy stuff like this too so this ouch my finger this one says spread kindness of course it has the truck and it is a 14.17 by 15.75 and I will try and get closer so that way you can see the actual size but yeah and I love that this is kind of like a, I don't know, it feels like canvas, but I'm honestly thinking that it's cotton. All right, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything that says what it is. I want to say that it's cotton, but it's, it feels kind of like a, a canvas material. So there's that one. And then there's Bloom and Grow, of course, with a little gnome on it. And I thought that one was super cute. This would be one that I would give somebody that loves to do, pardon me, excuse me, sorry about that, that loves to do gardening. This would be such a cute, cute gift bag for someone that loves to garden. But like I said, they don't have to use it for a gift bag. I mean, for a bag or a tote or whatever. They could use this and make a pillow out of it and put it in their living room or on a guest bed or whatever. Or do something and re-gift it. You know, once it's theirs, it's theirs. But I just couldn't pass these up. These, these, these are so cute. I like the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> then this one. Yeah, this is another favorite love the bicycle i'm just i'm loving the bicycle theme 
this year. It is just so pretty and simplistic. I'm just, I'm loving the simplicity of it. So this one says, it's all about the journey. Of course, it's got the sunflowers and then the butterfly. But, yeah. I, I love going to different Dollar Trees, guys. I just, if you've got the ability to go to different Dollar Trees, there's stuff here that were that's in Seguin that's not here. And I go to three here. There's one in Brenham, one in Giddings, one in Navasota that I have not still have not gone to yet that I just recently discovered so yeah there's three yeah and one in Caldwell I knew there was another one so those are the ones that I always hit I like I said I've got to go to the one in Navasota I haven't gone to that one yet but I'm telling you if you can travel a little bit and go to different Dollar Trees I promise you, you are going to find at least a couple items at those Dollar Trees that you don't see in your local ones. It's always good to go outside of your geographic realm if you can. Like spend a day and go and just go to different Dollar Trees if you can, you know, I know fuel's expensive, but if you can financially afford to do so, make a day trip out of it and just go to different Dollar Trees. I promise you, you will not be disappointed because you are going to find something that you don't, that your Dollar Tree doesn't have. Doesn't mean they don't carry it, it just means that it hasn't got to them yet. So just put that little thought in your mind. <laughs> so then I decided to go ahead and get this bigger one. It is out of the Dollar Tree Plus area, it's $3. But I got this one because of my washi tape. I want to have a bigger container to put my washi tape in. I've got a, a smaller one, but I also have like my, um, oh my goodness, paper clips and push pins and things like that. And I just want to dedicate that one specific one to, to that bend. It's half this size. And I want to have this for washi tape. And the reason that I like this one is, I don't know if you can see it, but this actually is curved. So when you put washi tape in there, it's not sitting on necessarily a flat surface. It's, it's actually got the curved variation in each one of these. They are all curved. Not one of them is like a flat, completely flat surface. So that's the reason why I like that. So this is going, this is specifically going to be all my washi tapes and, you know, decorative tapes and things like that. So I was really excited to see that. I was like, hmm, not bad. Then the next, oh, and see, here's another thing. And, and pretty much, not all, but pretty much most of this is stuff that my Dollar Trees don't have. Case in point, we do not have RC Cola here. I had, this is the first time I've seen it. And this is a full two liter for $1.25. This was in Seguin. So yes, I got that. This I didn't buy this time, but I wanted to show it to you. It was something that I had bought a year, maybe two years ago. I've had this bag for a while. And, and when I saw it, I couldn't help myself. Home of the Brave. You know, number one, I like it. It's pretty patriotic. I really love that. But I want to show you something. The reason why I'm showing you this. Okay, so the inside of these are sewn. Okay. Look how much I've been using this thing. It's already ripping. The thread's coming out. So it needs to be sewn back. The reason I'm showing you that is make sure you check your totes when you decide to buy them. I'm not telling you don't. I'm just saying make sure you check the tabs and make sure that they are securely sewn so that way you don't have an issue. You could be putting your stuff in there and not realize that it's loose or there's maybe one or two strings, strands holding it, threads, 
and the whole thing come apart on you and fall and something you know bad happened with all your stuff so just giving you a you know friendly little little tip but I I love that bag I just it's so pretty speaking of bags I have one more now this I bought just because and I haven't seen these here in a while they we have carried them here but I just haven't seen them in a while and I bought two of them and they are the dish rack holders and um, I do have one under my counter and we put our lids in them but I wanted a couple more because we do have skillets and then we have you know cookie sheets and stuff like that and I wanted to have you know do a revamp I want to redo my cabinet space to where everything is properly set up and it's not just stacked on top of each other so that's the reason that I bought those so the next thing I wanted to show you is I actually got four of these again they're they're just not here I don't know why I I do have some I use them I, I love them that you can do all kinds of things not just it being a riser or you know a stack up shelf whatever you want to call it what what do they call this thing cabinet shelf but I I use these so this is definitely one of those essential things that I feel like you know you should have even if you're not using it immediately you're gonna find a purpose for it excuse me this yeah it's a cabinet shelf and it's pretty good size you can put coffee cups underneath it put stuff on top there you go so I went ahead and I grabbed four and even if I don't use them immediately there will be time in the future where I will need them I'll be like I'm so glad I bought those okay the next thing I got I've been seeing these and I and I've even mentioned them I've never bought them and I decided just to go ahead and do it this one the one in Seguin actually has three different ones these are the body and earth shampoo bar this specific one it says a moisturizing formula with olive oil and coconut oil it is the flavor or scent whatever you want to call it is called berry bliss it's 1.76 ounces and it lasts up to 50 washes there is a travel tin that it is included in love the packaging I'm just going through an iridescent phase right now I'm really loving the packaging so there's that one then the next one is it says um, volumizing formula with seaweed extract and sea salt this one is called ocean waves and it says that it lasts up to 50 washes I've never used this before so I am intrigued I'm I'm interested in trying this but these also make great gifts Mother's Day is right around the corner literally right around the corner you could throw a gift basket together really quick you could use those bat those um, little tote things that I was telling you about awesome gifts awesome gifts this one is nourishing formula with argon oil and coconut oil so that's the argon oil version and it's more of a purplish color so I'm going to go ahead and open this so y'all can see the tin so here's the shampoo bar it's actually really pretty very interesting and then here is the container and then here's the lid and it actually says body and earth on top and then with the soap or without the soap you don't even you don't even twist it you just pop it on and there you go and then after you're done with the soap you got a cute little tin that you could reuse that's so cool 
So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. What a fantastic gift idea. So these jars, these are the mason jars, but these are a bigger mason jar. Okay, so uh, this is one that I've already hauled that I want to show you. This is the um, summer seas, and it's a three ounce. I think these are three ounces as well. I'm not seeing the ounce variate. 3.5. So these are 3.5, and then these are three. So I just want to show you the difference in the size. See how that one's taller? And this one goes up further. And this one's just the short one right here. So there is a definite difference in the size. But this is one that I, I've, I've already showed y'all. Let me put this over here. So this here is called Aromatherapy Stress Relief. Richly scented candles. This is a eucalyptus and a peppermint. And I promise you I've already smelled them because I'm not going to buy them if I don't like them. Yeah. I don't know if Robbie would like this because he's not a big eucalyptus fan, but I like it. It's got a, it's got a nice hint of both. But it's just a white candle. But I'm loving this jar. So when that candle's gone, I will be using this to make my own candles. So I got one of those. The next one, excuse me, is Positivity. It's grapefruit and bergamot. Whew. It kind of jumped out at me. You know, I really don't smell the grapefruit. There it is. Now I can smell it. It's got a decent mixture of both again. So I'm I am liking I like this one. It's nice when you can find a candle that's inexpensive that has a really versatile um, container that it comes in that you can reuse. You know, you, you're getting a candle and the, the container that you can use for something else once the candle's done. And then it's for a good price. I mean, that's a win-win all the way around. I, I really love finding stuff like this. Then the last one I got is the same thing. And of course, you know, this one is the sleep and it's lavender and vanilla. This I will put in my bedroom. I am going through a lavender kick right now. My, my body lotion is lavender. My body butter is lavender. My, my um, not Vicks, mentholatum that I use because we have a lot of pollen here and mold spores and stuff because we live in Brazos Valley and it is definitely spring, so... That has lavender in it. Yeah, see. And again, neither scent is overwhelming. It is such a nice blend of both of the scents. I, I'm not a big vanilla person. I don't like the sweetness of it. It gets overwhelming and it gives me a headache. But the lavender and the vanilla together, they just they blend so wonderfully. So that's the sleep version. And again, I did get two of those. Then the next thing I found, which my store has this, but I was there, uh, you know, since I was there, I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, this is the toothbrush and cup holder. And the reason that I grabbed this, see it has the two, the two suction cups on the back, is someone that I watch that does a lot of, not only does she do DIYs, but she does organization and minimalization and things like that. She said that she put this in her shower and instead of putting, um, yeah, instead of putting it by her sink, she puts it in her shower. She puts her shaving cream and she puts her razor in it. So I was thinking, well, I could put my shaving cream, my razor, 
a, a small thing of toothpaste and my toothbrush on the other side and then put all that in the shower. You know? I mean, you make it work. Especially, like, somebody that lives in um, alternative living. They live in a travel trailer or a tiny home or an RV or, you know, a camper of some sort. You know, homemade or professionally made. You have to think of, you got to think out of the box. You have to, to think, how can I get by something? What can I buy that can I can utilize in multiple different ways? You know, you, you, your real estate in a small dwelling is precious. So you have to think outside the box when you are buying things. It has to be a multi-function, multi-purpose um, product in order for you to have it in your in your home in your space so yeah you know i think of things like that <laughs> then the next thing i got is somebody not spoiled around here every time i turn around i'm buying treats and toys have not seen this here no nope. okay so this is a tug of war b-a-l-l cannot say the word or he will come visit me this is by Greenbrier Kennel Club and it just says dog toy but look what they did they drilled the hole on both sides right and then here's the knot it feels like it's a cotton material it's very soft it's not hard and bristly so yeah I'm I'm liking this I think he will too so, got a new T-O-Y for R-U-G-E-R. -E <laughs> and then I found this. I think I bought this for a gift for someone. Honestly don't know. I saw the unicorn on it. I'm not sure if I may or may not, but... This is, this is called fridge magnets. So they're magnets for your refrigerator. And I'll show you the front of it. See the unicorn, the um, heart with the rainbow. And then this is what they look like. Kind of like the tiles on Scrabble. So then I found these. They had the ones that were the two pack and the ones that are three pack and I'm glad that I paid attention because if I wasn't I would have ended up grabbing the two pack and paying the same price so this one I actually had to was in the front and I grabbed it and it's the three pack and it's the little cotton pods and you see there's the back oh my goodness tell me that's not cute And it, it just says decor. And it is hollow on the underside. But there's the blue one. The pink one. <laughs> and the green one. Oh my goodness, those are so stinking cute. I'm going to try and do this without. There we go. Check them out, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I am loving these things. This is the flip lid storage. I like these. And the way that you close them, see that? It's that on both sides. You're supposed to lock them into each other. There we go. There you go. See? So, I did go ahead and buy another bag. I actually put some of my stuff in it. So this says, all I want is coffee and my dog. Try and get, hang on, let me get this to fold up for you so that way you can see it better. It had all my goodies in it. There you go. Isn't that cute? It's a pretty good size bag. Pretty nice size. Okay, here's the Ritz cheese crispers for cheese and herb. 
And this is a two ounce bag. Those look pretty yummy. And here's those sesame sticks. This is the apple and cinnamon. And I did grab two of those. And this is the, what brand is this? It says Crunchy Cravings Cinnamon Sticks. No MSG, or, or artificial flavors, or colors. And it's a 2.75 ounce bag. So I have two of those. And then the last thing I have, again, they had them in Seguin. They didn't have them here. They do now, but they didn't when I went, went there and visited. And I actually got two of these, and I ate one already. This is the Imperial Nuts. You know, the different nuts and fruits and stuff that I like. Um, artificially flavored chocolate-coated cashews. And it's the, I'm trying to look, 2.25 ounce. So those are the chocolate-covered cashews. So that's it, guys. That's that's my haul. Kind of kind of big, a <laughs> little long, but that's my haul. Sorry I haven't got it to you earlier, but here it is. If you've watched this video to the very end, uh, comment down below. Gnome, garden gnome. <laughs> Use it in a quirky sentence, phrase. Just let me know that you watched the video to the very end. So with saying that. I uh, just want to thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, guys, happy trails.